Hey everybody, let's play some more uh, Threat Gen Red versus Blue. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I want to do uh, another single player blue campaign. Uh, we did the single player red campaign last time and uh, we did win. Uh, I did not have a lot of fun with that. It is definitely the weaker side of this game, but the blue side was decent. However, I did lose my blue team campaign, so I uh, I cannot let that be. Uh, we must prevail. So um, I think that like multiplayer with this, um, and by multiplayer I mean like LAN, LAN multiplayer, and I, I'm not really interested in ran playing with randos around the world, but... Um, from an educational perspective, having students playing red versus blue, uh, where they're actually playing against each other could be a good time. If it's just that the red side is so it's not instructional and it's not really that fun. Um, but, um, acting as an adversary against a, a, a learner on the blue side, um, would be, could be, could be a good time. All right, we're going to play as a blue team. Uh, and I also want to try a different scenario because we've done manufacturing plant for both the red team and the blue team. I, I kind of wish that there was more. It says to randomly select, but I mean, it's a it's one in three. So that's not, you know, it would be nice if there were other sectors. This game wasn't released that long ago. What's the uh, updates? Major update. The last major update uh, says here December 23rd, 2021 which added uh, malware, ransomware, improved incident response, and more. There was another major update July 13th, 2021. Uh, then May 5th, 2021, April 6th. So it has not been updated um, in about half, well, well, let's say about eight months at this point, which is unfortunate to see because they were rolling in pretty regularly before that. Um, de-rezzed. If you ever see this video, don't drop support of this game. This game is excellent. Um, oh, there's a manual that they put up online as well. I probably should have read that before I played. Then I wouldn't be flailing around trying to figure out what the fuck these, uh, things are supposed to do. Uh, about the author, Clint, I'm going to massacre this name, uh, Budunian. Udenyan, I think it's perhaps a French uh, spelling, uh, pronunciation, um, is a ThreatGen co-founder and the ThreatGen Red vs. Blue lead designer. So Clint, if you see this, don't drop support of this game. You've got a great thing on your hands here. It, uh, it, it is a, right now, it is a good game. It could be a great game. Don't quit it. <laughs> Please. Please. Um, yeah, oh, and you know, this manual it fills in a gap that I thought the game had. Um, it would have been nice if it had been called out instead of just being kind of small in the corner here in the additional content, but um, Blue Team Research Temporary. So yeah, this would tell me everything that I was missing. Trying to f See, part of my problem was trying to figure out how to do certain things. Um, so reading this would have solved that, so... All right, but yeah, anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I, that's why I got on this tangent. Uh, yeah, so Clint, if you ever hear of this or see this, don't drop support of this game and consider adding other environments. I would like something other than the energy sector. And as a matter of fact, if you're, if you, you all listeners, um, infrastructure. Um, these critical infrastructure sectors, if you are not familiar with them, dear listener, then this is what I was talking about yesterday. Um, there are 16 critical infrastructure sectors for cybersecurity in the United States. And this is part of a national effort to improve cybersecurity postures, uh, nationwide as part of like a Homeland security effort. But it's also how a lot of the discipline tends to be organized in terms of, uh, general best practices in, in policies, procedures, advisories, that kind of thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, information sharing works along these sectors. So there is the energy sector, the chemical sector, and all that you see here. And I would uh, almost uh, two out of the three, sorry, two out of the three scenarios we have um, fall under the energy sector. Um, hmm. 
This isn't the right list. It's missing some. Hmm. Oh no, sorry, I was just thinking of a, a different classification, a different sector classification. Yeah, this is this is the critical infrastructure uh, sectors. Okay. Um and one of them is in the manufacturing sector. Um the uh the one I was thinking of was the information sharing sectors. For example, Ren Isaac, research education network information sharing. Um, there's all here you see e isaac and there's there's a bunch of these that's i got them crossed in my head for a little little while there i would love to see another scenario uh, outside of manufacturing and energy i would love to see one uh, in communications it government facilities I, I really any any would be great to add uh let's do pipeline this time um and we still got the uh, also clint if you're watching this don't get get rid of these we don't need these not, they're not helping us out at all. I'm just, I'm kidding. By the way. I'm, I'm, it's a pet peeve. I'm being facetious. Blue team, now it's your turn. All right, so we are back with the blue team. We still got fifty thousand to start with, and three, uh, three uh, employees. Um, I had thought perhaps that the fifty thousand and three would change per scenario, uh, but it seems to me that the primary difference with the scenarios then is going to be our topology. Um. I'm guessing then that these computers, the last scenario I played, had one um, sitting outside of our perimeter, which I assumed was just meant to signify any random machine out on uh, the internet. Uh, I'm guessing that those are our, um, our RDP assets, assets outside of our environment that we need to allow access into or will be accessing resources in here. Um, this is like already slightly more complicated than our manufacturing scenario. So. All right, well, starting out with 50,000, uh, the, the problem I had immediately from, like, word one, uh, the first campaign I played, was that I knew I wasn't going to have enough people. Three people on a cybersecurity team for an environment like this is just not going to fly. It's just that hiring a new staff is awful, expensive. So um, a gateway firewall costs us nothing and requires no people. So we'd be fools not to do that. Um, we are going to hire a new staff. We are going to spend our money there right away. I'm just checking to see uh, what else we can commit. In the meantime, install a seam. That does cost money, but that is important. I said inventory, also important. All right, we are going to put one person on hiring a new staff right away, and we're going to spend that money. Uh, and then we have uh, two other people available, so we are going to put one of them on... Um, Installing that seam, we're going to put one of them on an asset inventory, and all of our people are committed. We've just about spent our entire goddamn budget. God, this is just like real life. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars for a comprehensive security program is peanuts. Peanuts. New staff hired. All right. Um, on the ball hiring early is a smart. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. And threat monitoring enabled. Okay, so we got three of our four people here back. We are out of money, and we're going to need that to segment our network, which is really important to do. I'm going to commit uh, two people to policies and procedures because we need to get IR up as soon as possible. Uh, I don't put the other one on a budget request because we are done out of money. And uh, we got to get people on security awareness as soon as possible because we have learned how important that is in this game. Okay. Um, we got nothing for now. Let's take a look at our tree since we have a little bit of time. Uh, policies and procedures will lead us to two-factor authentication, creating those IR procedures. That is what we are after. Uh, I don't know. It's a budget request. I don't know what that means. I don't know how much we get for a budget request, uh, but our next priorities are going to be segmenting the network and getting two-factor enabled, and we know we have to throw uh, some people and money at security awareness training. Um, although our, our loss last time was due to USB drops, 
which also would have been improved by installing the camera system earlier, which we didn't do until like turn 16 or something like that last time. Um, and also with uh, hardening our, our endpoints. Uh, we only had USB production on our DC. Uh, we had just gotten started with system hardening. So, But I will reiterate that uh, the deck is stacked against the blue team in this game. Heavily. It's heavily stacked against the blue team in this game. It is stacked against the blue team in real life, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. But in terms of winning as the blue team, it's going to be difficult to do. You're at a ma you're at several major disadvantages in this game. So, and we had one of our endpoints over here just disappear. All right, asset inventory is done, and we got our person back. All right, so now that that is done, we don't have enough people or funds for two-factor authentication. Uh, we could do. Oh, we need to wait for policies and procedures before we can do IR. Um. This person probably should be put, uh, we should, should probably start hardening assets. That's probably what we should do. Um, let's start. So, according to what happened last time, uh, the USB drops, of course, are going to infect workstations first because if a USB is dropped, they're going to go and plug it into their workstation and then that is how they get uh, that's their ingress into our environment um but um but oh i forgot what i was going to say uh, oh right so yeah um that's where we should be putting our, our USB protection. I put it on the AD last time because it's, of course, a good idea to harden your AD. You should be. But I've come to realize after playing both the blue team and the red team scenarios um, that a lot of these assets here don't actually do what their real-world analog is. I protected the DC because that's our user and entitlement repository. It's game over if, that's, if that gets compromised. But in the game, when I was the red team, I attacked the AD server, and it didn't really seem to make much of a difference. So... Uh, all right, let us, um, I kind of want to start doing IDS, um, don't have enough money for that, don't have enough money for that, don't have USB security. All right, let's, uh, let's do a little, uh, let's do a network, uh, security sensor, and let us place it, we're going to spend all the rest of our money on this, so I want to make sure we spend it wisely. Um, let's put it up over here, which I'm hoping will. I can't. T I can't. I can't tell where it's going to be connected or what it's going to be. What's going to be passing through it? I can't tell. If this is going to be. Well, okay. Whatever. We'll put it over there. I'm. I'm assuming that it will cover our sensitive assets. And we have 500 bucks left and no PC, so it's end our turn. I swear to God, if we get denied that budget request. Uh, network security sensor installed. Policies and procedures are done. Good. That's, that's good. Fucking, are you serious? Stuffed shirt suit, motherfuckers. I got $500. What do you expect me to do? God damn. I hope you're saving the money you're not giving me for the fucking settlements after we get hacked. Just like this is just like the real world. That's what pisses me off about it. It's just like the real world. <laughs> All right, get back in there and get me my money. <laughs> Encrypt network traffic. Um, implement strong Wi-Fi. These are these are things that uh, don't cost us anything. I have people, but no resources, so we are. We are looking for that low hanging fruit right now. I don't think I don't see. Okay, what's this vendor service? I got really excited when I saw that vendor certs were in the game before, but now I'm seeing that it's probably just a like a temporary boost or something. Um, security each ICS functions differently and are built to electronically manage tasks efficiently. Uh, again, vendor approved for applying patches. ICS is damaging. Oh, okay. I see what it does. All right, let's 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 start doing some OS hardening here because we, we got these uh, systems here. 
I can't do anything with them? Why not? What's going on here? Um, oh, I don't have vulnerability assessment done yet. Or vulnerability mapping. Um, okay, that's why. All right, well, in any event, I don't have the funds to do that, so. Uh, what can we do? Uh, USB security. That would be a good move. Log collection and analysis. Endpoint detection. Mm, no, I think we'll do USB. Um, what's the safe testing methods? Uh, okay. Um, not interested in that just yet. So let's do um, USB protection. And let's start hitting some of these. Um, workstations. Let's hit that one. Need that money, man. I need it. Okay, and strong Wi Fi. Okay. Three turns to request budget. Damn, we are seriously at a disadvantage here. All right, and I'm out of money, so I can't. I, why does deploying USB security require $500? That doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, well, I mean, shit, I'm plumb out of everything here, so let's do what we can do. I'll devote some people to that. I don't feel like we're ready for it, but at the same time, I got people sitting around uh, with nothing to do. Network traffic encrypted. Okay. something free nope i got no money i can't do anything this is this has been oh, i i, I want to reiterate this is like not this is not uh i i can't go right for enforcing strong passwords why not i don't have multi factor yet I should be able to do this, but it doesn't for some reason. It doesn't tell me why it can't either. Uh, yeah, Clint, if you're watching this one, uh, put a little tooltip in here to tell me uh, why I can't do this. I realized after the Red Team campaign that the reason I couldn't do the USB drops was probably because I didn't switch my physical location, but I also never saw how to switch my physical location, so um, I answered one of my questions, but it raised another. And if there were a tooltip, that would be... That would be um, good to do. Um, I can harden RDP, though. Um, so let's do that. RDP, in, in, a, in an industrial systems like this, and in the, uh, and in the uh, manufacturing system that we did before. All right. Vendor patching is done, and I see a space to save testing. This is a um wow oh, what was i saying shit i can't remember what i was gonna say um all right well what else can i do now i still got no money um shit what was i gonna say should i send more people should i just send everybody into the office all three of you go ask for more money I might just, I might just legitimately do that. Uh, um, I can go out for another vendor certification right away. Um, buh, 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 buh. Money, money, money. All of this takes money. All of this takes money. Activate IR, gather forensics. Um, yeah, the, the one problem I have with the blue team stuff, as fairly accurate as it is, is um, with the... Well, number one, there should be centralization of a lot of these. The, the, a lot of these ones that they have on a per machine basis, there, there should be a centralized response to this. Um, but also, like, there's stuff that costs money that ought not cost money, um, and you should you should be able to do, um, like, for example, uh, AV and system hardening and all that. You should be able to do that without a vulnerability assessment, right? There's there's no no reason why you would need to know whether or not you're vulnerable to malware to know that you should protect against malware, right? That's, 
the threat landscapes for various different industries may be different, but that's fairly ubiquitous. And also, why wouldn't you do it? It's like, it costs nothing um, or a very little amount to do. Um, you know what? Legitimately, uh, my people are sitting around doing nothing. So uh, y'all can go and uh, request that budget because did it, did it fail again? It did. You sons of bitches. I got nothing. I have no money. The, the company is posting record profits. Give, give, give money. Um, and I got nothing for them to do, it seems. I literally, like, I can't even do log collection without $500 for some reason. I got Splunk. I can't even send them all in there, because only one at a time, apparently. <sighs> yeah, I know, I'm running out of time, but I also don't have anywhere to go. Haha, -ha. I ended your turn before you could end it for me. I clicked the button first. Alright, I still got it. nothing for these people to do. Like... I have no budget and I have people. This would be a perfect opportunity to send my people out and start doing um, secure configurations. You know, this would, because that doesn't cost anything. Go out, do secure configurations, do internal audits, do internal assessments, start looking for default creds, poke around, you know, make yourselves useful kind of a thing. Um, but we just, we're dead in the water without money and it won't let us get money. So. Let's push on, I guess. Spending a turn sitting around on your hands doing nothing when you know that the red team has an advantage is essentially just seeding the game more than anything else. And the amount of money that they give us to begin with is just too low. Like, you really think that you can give three people $50,000? Well, four if you count me. I guess in this case, I'm kind of like the administrative overhead. I am the governance slayer. I am the ISO or CISO in this case. And the four people working for me. Oh, see, it failed again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get in there. Get that money. How does the budget request even fail? This is another thing. I don't understand this game and its chance of success as far as certain things go. Like, when I was trying to do, like, password harvesting or something on the red team side, it made sense why it might fail, you know? But... Again, the level of failure seemed awful high. Uh, in this case, it doesn't make any sense why the budget request keeps failing. And it doesn't give me any indication as to why it's failing or what I could do to help it to succeed. Because unlike on the red team side, when I could, it seemed as if I could research that attack method and gain a greater chance of success. Um, uh, it doesn't have an analog here on the blue team side. And I can see that our uh, profits are going down so i know that there's infections and i know that there are problems in our environment but i can't do a thing about them i just can't so oh i don't have the resources <clears throat> it makes me wonder if blue team even is winnable in this case uh, I'm just checking around to see if there's, um, it's the sound. Okay, that's that. That's that. Yeah, I haven't had, uh, any successful, I haven't done anything, no progress since turn eight. Um, and I, I can't do anything either. Except sit here and wait to be rejected for more money. At this point, it would not be a failure of security. It would be a failure of uh, leadership if we get hacked and and everything goes down. The cybersecurity professionals will still be blamed if something goes wrong. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it would not be a failure of the cybersecurity professionals in this case. It's a failure of leadership to provide adequate resources. Yep. Same as the ICS process. What did they do this time? A spear phishing campaign. I could not get to social engineer or to, to security awareness training. I could not get to it. I did not have the resources for it. 
But I'm not giving up just yet. We're doing this shit again. Um, let's do the large oil and gas. And try again. All right. Damn. This is definitely hard mode. It seems like with the scenarios, the manufacturing is the easier of the scenarios. Um, there's just a lot of assets here. Of course, these assets are at least organized in a way that's logical at this point. All right, so uh, no reason not to do a gateway firewall. Again, it costs us nothing except time, and that we have plenty of, at least at this point. Uh, we won't hire another person. I'm going to try and get by with just three, although I know that's not enough. Um, let's put, let's do that uh, security awareness training as soon as possible. Um, cause that is our Achilles heel. It has been for the two, two that we've lost. So let's put those two people on, um, policies and procedures and let's do the last person. Uh, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to bother with budget requests. I was at $0 and I got nothing. So there's no fucking point to it. I'm just going to try and spend my 50000 wisely and uh, and go from there. Um, and I would really like a scene. Um, but let's, again, spend that money wisely and start with uh, the asset inventory. Okay. Our people are committed. Our money is not. But there is nothing that we can spend money and not people on. So everything requires people. Most things require money. firewall is done i am going to spend the money and people on network segmentation when we get it because that is definitely um money well spent but still don't have my people back so return um my people are still committed for one more turn okay That's an inventory completed, policies and procedures completed. So let's put those people on security awareness training right away. And I don't have enough people to do network segmentation, but we can put somebody on encrypted uh, network level encryption. Um, actually, a strong Wi Fi. Let's do strong Wi Fi here over the DMZ wireless. And that's only one round, and then we can put them on network encryption after that. Strong Wi Fi is done. Now we put them on network level encryption while the security awareness uh, is. Awareness training completed. All right, let's start moving down that tree. At least it's novel. Um, we haven't maybe we haven't been down this way just yet in this game. Security skills training: six thousand dollars and three people for what? Further strengthens the overall security posture and is also required for more advanced actions such as. Oh, I did not even come over here before. Threat hunting, internal vulnerability assessment, and all of that is behind the security awareness training wall. Why? A lot of the a lot of the skill progressions on the red team side, as I called out in part two, didn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, grouping them together or putting them behind certain um, areas. Um, that wasn't the case by and large for the blue team side, but. It kind of is now that I'm looking on this side of the screen. A lot of these don't make sense behind here, and a lot of these don't make sense behind here. So that's, yeah. I mean, hey, it's a game, and they're at least in the game. Um, but I guess maybe that is, uh, is one critique there for me, is this, this doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, the skill progressions in a lot of cases. I'm ecstatic that they're here, um, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, definitely going to commit to that. Um, but first let's do network segmentation with this 10 K and the two people that I now have available and end our turn. It's now your turn. The, the issue with the budget and the people is honestly so close to the real world that it fucking hurts my soul to play this game because not having enough people and not having enough money has been my problem literally every organization I have ever been at. Uh, I've spent most of my time, especially in management, 
arguing till I'm blue in the face for resources. You constantly have to fight to get what you need in this business, and I don't understand why. I can understand that there's some, probably some cybersecurity professionals that they want the newest and biggest everything, and they, I've, oh man, the amount of waste I have seen in in my professional career in cybersecurity is also insane, um, because people are just so fucking bad with money and strategy and decision making, and they're always going after these products that just don't, they're just not the right ones. But I'm not here to to bitch about that. But, um, I yeah. You never have enough people, you never have enough money, and that's because people are always worried you're going to waste it, and they kind of have good reason because a lot of people do waste the money that they're given. Um, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't give it to me, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is give me, give me money, I will use it, uh, only on good things, I promise. All right, I do have my eyes on two-factor as well. Um, not going to put in a budget request. I have one person... Um, and they're going to be engaged for two more rounds anyway. So let's go after, um, I'm thinking we'll probably go after, uh, the safe testing methods here just to have it. We have the person and we have the time. So let's do that. Uh, people still engaged. So let's do this. And this will free up all three people um, so that we can now go after um, security tr skills training so we can get at the rest of this. All right, and then we're going to do um, two-factor after that. Uh, I also wish that um, there was something more for me to do as the one who's making these decisions while my people are engaged. It would be great if there was, if, if while I'm not, if I'm not, like, let's say that any round where I'm not issuing a directive to uh, my staff, um, if I could devote that round to doing something else, that would be a really great addition to the game as well. Like, for example, any round where I'm not issuing an order to my people. Um, you know, where they're, I'm not giving them a directive or something like that. I could go and maybe do a, like a mini game in order to do like default creds or a patch or something. That would be a great addition to the game. Just like a little mini game I can do on these off rounds. Um, but I understand, you know, that's not. Cyber security with security security skills. Uh, your staff is well trained to defend against cyber attacks. So hopefully that will help me to avoid those social engineering attacks. All right, we got our people back and we got a little bit of money. Uh, we're definitely going to go after two factor uh, this round, and I got one person left. Um, what is this? And personnel to directly inspect an asset for evidence of a compromise. Just remember, if evidence is not found, it doesn't mean there is absolutely no compromise. The attacker may just be well hidden. Uh, or an internal vulnerability assessment, internal pen test. Um, yeah, I'm glad that these are in the game. It's weird that they're behind this, but I'm now I noticed that they're here. So, all right, um, let's. Boy, I would really like to do security cameras. Yeah, let's do. And that means my people are going to be engaged for three rounds here. So another three rounds where I'm not going to be doing much of anything but waiting for them to be done. We're in a pretty good spot right now. I mean, we got network and segmentation. We got we're going to have two factor. We're going to have video surveillance. I mean, this is a, this is a good spot to be in. We're running low on funds, but you know. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad we did the video surveillance because they were moving in physically. So. All right. I mean, I'm. Oh, installing a VPN will also isolate remote users to a single zone. 
then it does seem worth doing. I was wondering why this was so high up in the progression tree when it doesn't really seem like, I mean, you know, in the scheme of things with all the other um, priorities, uh, it doesn't seem like truly a necessary choice. All right, we are going to spend, I think, some of uh, our last remaining money. We're going to need the IR procedures. We are going to need uh, a scene, and we are going to solve the VPN. And I am running dangerously low on cash. Good baseline security. It took us 16 rounds to get there, but, you know, with the resources we have available, so shall it be. All right. Now, okay, we, we also need to get... We need to we we need to get the vulnerability assessment going here, but I need two people. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't have the funds. Well, oh, shit. This would be a great time for um, great time for a budget request. But they're not going to give it to me. I feel so. Let's. Let's do some threat hunting and let's go with, um, nah, you know what? Threat mm -hmm. hunting seems like God, we should be doing it, but why not? Oh, that's right. That's the one. Oh, two people, two people. Mm-hmm. see a security monitoring uh yeah that seems like it would be worth doing oh but i don't have enough money damn it all right let's do a security sensor i i don't understand the placement of these security sensors they don't make any sense All right, let's send it out for a budget request. Keep our fingers crossed. Asset out of service. Oops, an asset is out of service. This will cost you money until you fix it. You will continue to see this alert until your out of service asset is fixed. You are no longer, you are losing money each turn until the asset is back online. God damn it, it's the last thing I needed. Protecting the firewall and remote communication security. Well, every new internet facing asset is, you know, you are broadening your attack surface, I suppose. All right. What is the one that is. It's my gateway? Okay. That's the first time I've seen something like that in this game, so I'm not entirely sure what to make of that, but. Another asset is out of service. Which one is out? I'm the fucking... It failed. That's why it gave me that. Why? How do you fail to reboot? How do you fail to reboot an asset? <sighs> Alright, I'm noticing that our company profits are going down. Um, which might be the result of that asset. Um, but... Let's start doing some poking around here. Um, I only have one person available. Um, all right, let's put them on vulnerability mapping because we got we got to get we got to do that in order to get. Um, oh, and that's uh, vulnerability assessment. I was thinking of vulnerability mapping. Oh, vulnerability mapping seems to also get us there. Yeah, that also gets us there. So yeah, let's put them on vulnerability mapping. Start spending this money before we start losing it because we can't reboot a fucking firewall. All right, asset rebooted. Budget acquired. Thank fucking Christ. It's not that much though. Um, that might not be so easy next time yet because it was so easy. 
They just hand out money to me in this game. They just handed it out. <laughs> oh, the bitterness is real. Okay. We, uh, once vulnerability mapping is done, we're going to start putting our people on cleaning up uh, vulnerabilities in our environment. Um, that will be done in one turn, so we don't want to put our people on anything that will tie them up too much. Uh, could have them do an internal vulnerability assessment. Uh, that would tie them up for three turns, although it might be three turns well spent. Now that I have the money, though, I can... Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to put them on the uh, ICS security monitor. That's good. That's a good place to spend that money right now. Building mapping is completed. I got one person back. And now we can start cleaning up our shit here. So, what do you have? SQL injection. Why? Keep overflow. The patch available. These vulnerabilities that they have on here, they don't make any sense. Uh, okay. Um, this is incorrect access control. That's a switch. So let's fix that. Huh? Tell the uh, network administrators to cut the shit. Standard intrusion detection systems won't pick up some ICS threats, but now you can. Watchful eye, security monitoring. Okay. Never fear. I is here. In the plague. Okay, I got two people now. Uh, we are definitely going to start working on our most sensitive assets here. Why is there a SQL? These vulnerabilities don't make any sense. Um, you, you fix... You fix a SQL injection problem with system patches? That doesn't that doesn't track. Okay. I mean it, you, you, I guess I can think of a couple where you deploy a patch, but um all right. Is there no patch available for a heap overflow attack? So am I am I to assume the game is trying to tell me that you basically just can't do anything about it? Is that what I'm Is that where we're going for? Like, if there's no patch, then you just simply can't do anything about it, because you can. Vector traversal, incorrect access control. Oh, let's see. Um, yes, these are definitely... This is definitely our zone 4 over here, so... Let's do... System hardening on that. What's your problem? Update an AV. Well, then update it. Directory traversal. All right. We're on round 20. It will be 23 of 75. All right. It's good to see that we can't literally fail to update AV. At least we haven't yet. I would be surprised, but... Oh, shit. All this no patch currently available stuff, I'm not even sure what to make of it. I think it's just the game trying to tell me that there's nothing that can be done about it, but there is, there should be. What is this threat intelligence score? I don't know what that means. I should read the manual. Okay. Um... What are you? No patch available, no patch available. File inclusion. Incorrect access control. But I can't seem to do anything about it. Can't do anything with the actual industrial systems. Which, I mean, it is very much like a legacy system. Threat hunting, USB security. USB security, we're going to start with our warp uh, network over here, but let's first do system patches for this. Really can't do anything about that, huh? Okay. Uh, system hardening over here. Later, remove compromised asset detected. You've discovered a compromised asset. You should activate IR and clean or replace the infected asset ASAP. Okay. Wait. Yeah, this one. 
Is it? I activated IR. I don't know why it's not. What did? I clicked the button, but it. I don't know if it did anything. That action is already in the queue. It is? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, we're going to spend money on forensics on this too, but I think we can't do that until after we uh, do the IR. Do I need a person to do it? It doesn't say that I do. No, zero people in one round. Yeah, change the default creds on our fucking gateway. Wait, God, this is like real life. Sorry. <laughs> Years of bitterness. Uh, IR mode activated red alert. This is not a drill. You are now in IR mode. Lawyer. Okay, that was from last round. Okay. So now that I'm in IR mode... Um, it's not really telling me what the deal is. Um, this is, mm. oh, it's a user work. Why is a user, why is a user workstation connected to our very sensitive assets? I, I suppose it's not that unusual. Um, Oh, that is a win condition for us when we reach 100 on the intelligence score. Um, let's do that. Can we do more than one thing? It seems we can do more than one thing. So let's also... Clean the assets. And keep our fingers crossed, I guess. Um, that's still going to take one more turn. I do have a person available now, though. Oh, now that we're in IR mode, can we do this with... Oh, yeah, we can. We can disconnect all kinds of stuff. Weak password. So then don't use a weak password. God damn. I swear to God. Um, okay. Our ability to do other things while we're in IR mode seems to be somewhat hamstrung. Which, I mean, you know, when you're in IR mode, yeah, it's all hands on deck. That's for sure. Um, but in the meantime, I have a person here. I need to, f to put them on something. Yep, we're completely locked out here in the meantime. And the forensics replace assets, track ransomware key, reboot, okay. Threat hunting. Um, yeah, let's do a little threat hunting here. Let's do, um, Let's do it on that switch. Forensic evidence collected. Asset cleaned. Okay. What's the... Uh, it, uh, I don't have the icon key in blue team mode. So, I think we're done with IR mode. Deactivate that. Oh, ransomware. Okay. Yeah, then crack the key. Um, and let's do some threat hunting on that as well. This, uh... 
network topology here is kind of hilarious. Okay, where were we at here? We were doing system patches for a weak password. Dokey, sure, whatever. The blue team side of this is still way more fun than the red team side. And it, it actually makes sense. So we failed to crack the ransomware key. Okay, then. Oh, we can't. We simply can't do anything about it anymore. It's just done. Or do we need to activate IR? All right, do, do that. Um, what's your problem? Start an RDP. Uh, let's throw some log collection up here. Yes, install antivirus. Log collection. We're spending some of our money on log collection analysis on, and on, on at least our security appliances, if nowhere else. All right. Install. Yes, install AV on these. God damn. It's, it's too much like real life. It's too much like real life. 14 years of cybersecurity experience rolled up into one game that's exacerbating my goddamn ulcer. System patches. System patches. System patches. Now that I know that a win condition is filling up our red intel score, that uh, gives me some information here on analysis on um, um, from a game theory perspective what we could be doing here what is your problem we could pass change the fucking password man god I assumed that the only win condition for the blue team was to reach the end without being compromised, but um, now that I see that there's another win condition where we can end it early, that does make a lot of sense. I will say we are doing really well now at this point with three people on our team. I still feel like it's not enough, but and there's nothing we can do about that. Format string error. System patches. Integer overflow. System patches. All right, I think we're going to start um, start doing some uh, missing antivirus. Okay, well then, install antivirus. Uh, once we get this um, side cleaned up over here at our gateway, and see, this, the network topology made a lot more sense in the other scenarios. Uh, so what we have here is, here, uh, here obviously is the public internet, and here's our perimeter firewall, and then right after our perimeter firewall, we have some user workstations, we have a repository server, we have our DC, SMTP, so SMTP, DC, and, well, SMTP and DC make sense to have here, and of course the networking equipment makes sense to have here, the user workstations don't, the repository server shouldn't be sitting here on the edge, um, they should be sitting in a server segment uh above all else the workstation should be here in corp there's no reason for them to be here um here we have a dmz it doesn't really make any sense for there to be a dmz after the corp network but it's fine i mean i can see here we have a server and it just kind of branches off in that direction so it does make sense it's just i don't like the layout of it but that's more personal pet peeve than anything else and then we have sensitive assets and even more sensitive assets so zone four and zone five so this side makes sense mostly 
Um, this side doesn't. What was I doing? Oh, right, my people are... Yeah, okay. Uh, what am I waiting for? Okay, we were just doing patches. Sorry, I really... Uh, totally, um... Lost the plot there for a second. Okay. Alright. Uh, I got some more patching to do here, so... Update AV. System patches. System hardening. Okay. It bothers me that I can't take this down anymore. I'm not sure why I wouldn't be able to. But... Um, all right, system patches now. Make sure that we're all good over here. System patches over here. Later removed. Alright. I, I wish there was also a better way to see what these vulnerabilities are without having to click on the icon. Remove that. The game starts falling short when you start getting to this level of the game. Uh, so the first, like, f 15 turns, which I've played twice now, so keep that in mind, was a lot of the big picture decision making. And then after that, you have to switch to more um, granular strategic decisions or tactical decisions, I guess you'd say, between strategy and tactics. Um, the game kind of falls apart a little bit when you get to that level because um, it's not particularly strong with this micromanaging aspect of things. Um, but I'm definitely not mad at it. All right. We even start worrying about these ones. I guess I guess we probably should, but they seem to come and go. So. Okay. Yeah, now that I got one person here, okay, we gotta start uh, doing some additional protections here. Let's start with the sensitive assets. Let's deploy USB security over here because that would be a game. That would be a game ender right there. So. Okay. And there's nothing else I can... Well, yeah, let's throw that on there, even though it's fucking bricked. That's, that's another thing that doesn't make any sense. It's ransomware. It's, it's done. I should be able to remove it, but I can't. Can't do anything with those. Can't do anything with these. Okay. Let's move on up here, then. Start doing uh, USB security up here. Start increasing our threat intel score and start doing some threat hunting. So let's start threat hunting there, threat hunting there, threat hunting there. Threat hunting there, let's do threat hunting. Start doing actually let's start doing log collection on our switches. Collection there. The USB security system patches. We gotta make sure we stay on top of these too. Okay. Um, I've got one person left here. Let's do a collection on the access point. Patch. Uh, 
patch. Long collection. Log collection. Uh, let's throw some USB security over here, USB security over here. Now that you can also see that I'm using my money more judiciously here as we go, this is uh, that signifies a change in the way that the game is. I think that the game may also be improved with with something like that. With giving the blue team, let's like make, maybe give the blue team fifty thousand dollars and let's say a ten minute head start to set up basic security, and then the game would move into something like this after that. You know, I, I suppose that's kind of already what they're doing now that I think about it. So it's Wait, detection. Sure, we're still good down here. Matches. Steven point detection there. Still got one person up here. Right. USB security there. Later, removed from the perimeter. They must be getting desperate. Oh shit. Got some problems here to take care of. This weak password thing is killing me. Because I can't do strong passwords. Oh, I can. Now, for some reason, suddenly I can do enforce strong passwords. It was grayed out before. I don't know. But that'll help us. Social Security, you now have maximum defense against social engineering attacks. Of course, nothing is 100% guaranteed. Password policy created. Strong password policy implemented. All right. Yep, things are looking a lot better now. Um, We haven't looked at the tree in a while. I don't know what the point of is implementing software development lifecycle. Like, we shouldn't be doing in-house software development, but I've been doing this whole thing without any disaster recovery or, or business continuity. <laughs> All right, let's let's start uh, let's start doing a little bit more big picture stuff here. Um, let's do vulnerability assessment, and let's put somebody on. Mm-hmm. Should we do electronic locks? I, I don't know. I don't want to spend all of my money. So, you know, we're still going to need some of it for all of the other stuff that we're doing. Um, let's pick up where we left off. Um, USB security. Leave it at that. Let's not let's not lose sight of the short term while we're working on the long term, huh? Okay, I got my one person back. Let's be security on the PCs. Story again. Patches. Should log one more turn for that. Perimeter secured, assets inventoried, policies and procedures established. Second level actions are now available. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I see. Yeah, we weren't able to do that before, were we? Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at all of the yellow I have now. My god. 
and there's nothing I can do. Why can't I change the passwords? Enforce strong passwords. Is this something I'm going to have to do regularly? Like, to force people to do the, the right thing? God, it is like real, real life. Yeah, patch these. These are important. They might even be the most important. DLC out of service. Uh, asset out of service. Later removed. Uh, it's this guy right here. Reboot. Patches. Change default credentials and system patches. Yes, get to work on those. And of course, I think that that's the one that I patched last turn, so it probably went down because of that, because everyone knows security is responsible for all of those things. Oh, what? Oh, we damaged our own process. Fuck. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Just goes to show, man. You can't fucking win. Um, damage their own process with the patching. This is why redundant assets are important. Son of a bitch. Direct cyber attacks. So the red team was almost completely ineffective. Uh, they had one successful... They, they tried many, many things. Uh, they had one successful denial of service attack. Uh, they had one USB drop, uh, which probably, I don't know, I, I'm not even really sure where, where that ended up coming in. Well, let's take a look. Uh, meanwhile, I detected and removed 100%, resolved three of four. Uh, average detection time was one turn. Average response time was two turns. Uh, total vulnerability is 240. So I discovered... Um, 51% of them remediated a quarter of them. Uh, total budget starting catch. So I spent $90,000, which is nothing. Uh, only requested funds once. Uh, total spent was... Oh, I only spent $77,000. Um, 75000 of which was on the cybersecurity program. Again, which is nothing. Staff utilization was high. Threat intelligence score was high. I was about to win that game, too. Let's see what, let's see what the fuck happened here. Yes, god damn it. It's this one, the other one we were working on. Fuck, I should have waited until the one was rebooted before I patched the other one. That's my problem. Fuck. Let's see what they had on me. They had nothing. They had nothing on me. They had nothing. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not actually that upset. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but uh, that was that was mine. That game was mine to lose, and I did lose it. And the reason I lost it uh, is because, I mean, while in the real world, of course, you would not want to patch. If you have redundant assets, you're going to want to make sure that you make use of them um, and only patch one at a time. In the game, I wasn't really thinking of that. That's my fault. Um, but we were doing so well there, too. So well. Oh, well. I'm not done with this yet. I'm not done with this yet. I'm going to do a part four. We're going to do another blue team uh, run. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to keep at this until I win. Even if I have to cheat, I'm going to keep at this until I win. Because uh, we had this one. This one was ours to lose. Fucked it up there at the end. <sighs>